And our first main topic today comes to us from Hank Dorsey, who writes, I really like Vanessa Hudgens, and you actually turned me on to that short-lived show she did called Powerless. I loved Powerless. Everybody else hated it, but I loved that show. Anyway, uh, that I completely loved. I'm glad you liked it, Hank. You and me can be alone. Uh, anyway, it looks like she's been using her social media lately to sort of campaign to get the role of Catwoman in the new Batman installment. So, two questions. One, is Catwoman actually a character in the new movie? Two, what do you think of actors using social media to campaign for roles? Because I've seen it happening more and more. Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for that, Hank. And look, I'll, l let me use this opportunity here quick just to talk about how much I actually really do love Powerless. It only lasted one season. When you watch the first episode, it feels very odd and weird. But as you watch it, you start to tune your brain into what they're going for. And by the time the series ended, I was heartbroken that it was ending. Um, like Van Wayne, Bruce Wayne's incompetent little cousin is like the head of this company that Vanessa... Anyway, I love the show. So whatever. Of course, we know there's a new Batman movie coming. Matt Reeves has been working on it for 17 years, apparently. And we've seen some people, a growing trend of actors campaigning actively on their social media trying to get roles. We saw, I think it was Tyrese just recently tried to do it with Green Lantern. We've seen other people do it. Josh Gad has been doing it, trying to get a Penguin role in the movie, right? So we've seen that happening. So what the, everybody's talking about right here is Vanessa Hutchins jumped on social media and started talking about Catwoman a little bit and a bunch of people on her social media started sending her photos of her photoshopped as Catwoman and she started feeding this. She goes, what do we gotta do to make this happen? Vote yes to this, do all this kind of stuff. One of the ones she brought up was actually a picture of DeVito and Pfeiffer as Penguin and Catwoman and putting up pictures and then a picture of herself with Joss Gad in the picture at the same time and in the text above this image it says, vote yes to this and all that kind of stuff. Rob, look, on the one hand, I don't have any problem with an actor showing enthusiasm for a property, showing enthusiasm for a potential role, and kind of geeking out a little bit. I've got no problem with that. Look, it's how Samuel L. Jackson got the role in Star Wars. He got on The Late Show and talked about, like, basically, the camera, I want to be in a Star Wars movie, and George put him in a Star Wars movie. So it's happened before. I don't know that it's happened since. This is... Well, on the one hand, I find it kind of a fun thing for celebrities to involve themselves in. On the other hand, it's dumb. Uh, I, I don't think any filmmaker worth their worth their salt is going to go, oh, well, they're on Twitter and saying they want to be it. Okay. I, I don't think anybody, any real filmmaker is going to take that seriously. So on the one hand, it's cool. On the other hand, it's not really a story because really uh, a, a, an actor who earns their living by getting roles and getting paid wants a role in a big movie? No. Like, I always laugh a little bit when I see these headlines that say, so-and-so wants to be in a Star Wars movie. Every actor wants to be in a Star Wars movie. With maybe the few exception of a couple of multi-multi-millionaire guys. Whatever. Of course, they're working actors. They get paid to move. Of course, they want to. But this whole using social media thing to try to get a little bit of a groundswell is interesting. On the one hand... It's kind of fun. On the other hand, they don't seriously think this is going to get them a role, do you? Anyway, Rob, you're seeing this phenomenon played out because we've seen this happen a number of times. What do you think about the notion of celebrities using their social media to, to campaign to get a role? It's not a good look, John. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Look, what you're doing then is you're removing the agency literally from the equation. You're, you're, you're not allowing the filmmakers, you're not allowing the people that are actually working on Batman to do their jobs. There's casting, there's a casting director, there's the producers, there's the, there's the director himself. These, these are not, these are carefully considered choices, probably the most important choices you can make with a studio franchise property like this. Uh, there's a lot riding on it. And when an actor, what is Vanessa Hudgens, no offense to her, but in terms of box office, how does a studio roll the dice with her? What does she bring? She was on, as we talked about, Powerless, uh, that was canceled. That's not exactly <laughs> somebody that you can put on a movie poster and have people go, oh my God, I can't wait to see her as Catwoman. She might very well be a great Catwoman, but allow the process to continue. It, I, In my mind, look, there's the famous story about how Sean Young literally showed up at Warner Brothers. 
I guess in a co- in a Catwoman costume trying to become <laughs> Catwoman. Right, yeah. I mean, it's 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 never something that you should be doing. I mean, she looks her and Josh Gad would be great, but what if that's not the kind of movie they're making? I thought Anne Hathaway was a terrific Selena Kyle in Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, and I I didn't like I I didn't think she'd be a good fit, and then she ended up being my favorite part of There's that movie. There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. I mean, <laughs> I thought that was so great. Now. Uh, allow the filmmakers to do their jobs. That's what I would say. The, another good example of this is remember when Thomas Jane had somebody do. Uh, I think I think it was Thomas Jane who had somebody do uh, Photoshop effects on him as Jonah Hex, right? And it was putting that. I mean, so we've seen. Oh, you know, it might have been another actor, but anyway, there was some actor that did that. Now look, don't get me wrong. I would be if they announced tomorrow that Vanessa Hutchins was going to be Catwoman. I'm perfectly good with that. I think she's delightful. Um, I do and, too. and she's a fitness nut as well. Like she is, she is muscular. She's in shape. She does a lot of very physical stuff. She was in a very action oriented film in uh, the Zack Snyder film. Um, uh, Sucker Punch. Uh, Sucker Punch. And I thought she was, del- I, I didn't think Sucker Punch was overall a very good film, but I thought she was kind of delightful in that. I've always liked her. I have. So if they, I have too. But if they announce her being in it tomorrow, I'm totally good with it. But I'm with you. This, this process of campaigning for it on social media it's, I guess it's, you know it's not look, a good look I love the way you put that it's not a good look if she's gonna float one picture with her and Josh Gad I'm okay with that but if it becomes an ongoing campaign then it looks like you know it's a little desperate mm. but it, 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 again you're taking away you you if you want to become catwoman your agency should do their job your agency should be the one that's campaigning for you with the filmmakers and with the studio and hey, one of the most popular people on Instagram. She got, I think she's got like almost three and a half million followers on Instagram. Well, that's not a, that's 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 actually yeah. impressive. Yeah, so. this is a good social media following. What do you guys think? How would would you guys be down for Vanessa Hutchins playing Catwoman? And the second question of that is, what do you guys think about actors trying to mount a campaign on social media to get roles? Do you think that's a good thing? Do you think that's a bad thing? Let me know what you guys think.